We need to get out there. We need to be violent with the hands. And I'm not asking you to do anything that's outside of the rule book, but I want absolute violence when we do things. Drawing these cards up so you guys can do the right assignment. So please do the right thing. If we don't know what we're doing, try to follow the ball carrier and fly. Hey, get your mind right, get your grind right. Hey, listen, you got, you got about 30 minutes, okay, before weight room starts. If you need to get treatment, get treatment. If you need to get taped, get taped. Get ready for the weight room, 2 o'clock. Championship effort today wins games later. Everybody understand me? They started a couple weeks ago. Uh, this is where we usually practice. So, we, you know, for the time being, we got to get over to your, uh, our middle school to practice. We're getting a brand new athletic field, brand new scoreboard. We're very antsy to get on it, and we got to wait a couple more months. Here we are at our, at our local feeder middle school, Yorba Middle School. And obviously, you know, hard to coordinate all the times and everything. The, the guys painting the field as we go right now. Um, we're getting ready for practice, getting stretched, and uh, just another day in the summer. Get a hit on me, get a hit on me. Ready, hit, hit. Relax. Woo! <laughs> Man, it was, it, was, it was a great ride. I mean, something that you got to cherish. And we haven't really had time to reflect on how good that run was because you're already getting ready for the next season. And we're excited. The kids have completely bought in. They want to be part of something bigger. And we still have that sour taste of that last game in our mouths. They know what the road it's going to take. And we play some great football teams. And uh, it's going to be fun. I mean, we're, we're excited for the competition. It's going to take hard work. You know, it's going to take uh, not doing what we did last year, taking days off, taking you know, taking it easy during practice, have to take every practice like it's a championship week. We just gotta make sure that we're working harder than everyone and that people see us coming, so, you know, we just gotta handle business. It's kind of difficult, but uh, like all the work we've put in during the off season, I think we'll be ready for all the teams like uh, Westminster and Santa Ana, you know, like we gotta get revenge on them. Beautiful day at Yorba Middle. We got soccer lines for you guys now. Going back! What's the transition like because you're learning a new offense? It's a little difficult, but um, I think I could uh, understand what the playbook is. Just takes me a little time and just get a get a figure with uh, my teammates. Quarterback Daylin Pedroza, big kid, only going to be a sophomore, has all the tools needed uh, to be a big time quarterback. We have a lot of returners. You know, Tony Sierra, middle backer, is, is a three year starter for us. But we're, we're powered by our O line and D line, um, they're all returning. Um, from last year's team, and uh, we're excited up front. I, I feel like our guys up front have dedicated their offseason to football, and uh, they're big boys, they're strong boys, and they're very athletic. Try to incorporate this. It's kind of you know the same conditioning for them, 10-yard sprints, as, uh, as well as getting our blocking assignments done against three different defenses without having to waste time to keep switching off the defense and somebody moving them and all that. So, you know, obviously they're trash cans, but we're getting an idea and then we'll put it together for team. I want defensive line resetting that line of scrimmage. I want linebackers eager to hit somebody, okay? I want scout guys in there trying to win themselves a job. So make sure it's right, make sure it's tight. Tony, get out, get a break, and let's fly around and have some stinking fun. You'll never have today back. You'll never get it back. Let's go. Get on me, get on me, ready, hit. Hit, relax. Finish, finish! Today we're gonna do a little punt uh, with one of our returners. See if he can catch two, three balls. If he catches three balls while holding, if he catches the ball while holding two balls, we'll cancel uh, conditioning today. If he catches two, we'll cut it in half. If he catches one, we'll keep it the same. So today we got 110, so they're, they're not happy about it and they don't know when it's gonna happen either the beginning, middle, or end, they're gonna find out right now that it's gonna happen right now. I want you to pick our best returner right now. Best hands, best returner, who we got? Who's the best? Who's the best? Big Dave? <laughs> All right, 
The best hands for a punt return. Who is it? Nobody wants to get it? Andrade, the third kick, if he has two here and is able to catch the third one and hold all three, none. None. You got it? Get over there. Let's go. Yeah, we are. There's one. Oh, all right. We got one. No way. Oh, are you going to say that's not catchable? Oh, my God. Oh, that's two. That's two. We got to do some kind of conditioning. Come on, Andrade. You got to drop one. There it is. <laughs> go line, let's go. I should have had that win. I let my team down, but next time I'll get it. Do you think the balls were doctored? Yeah, they, they over pumped it. I, I think so. Pick it up, pick it up. Good job, good job. This is Ron Douglas. He coached me when I was in high school, at Canyon High School. Canyon, I don't, how many years were you there? 25. All right, and he still, every day, tells me I'm not doing a good enough job here. Well, he's orange, and he's orange, and he's orange alumni. He says a lot of lies. And then he coached me in high school. Ron Douglas, 40 years coach me, finally got me the, the dream. <laughs>